Hi friends, today we are going to uh, develop a use case diagram for the hotel management system. In this use case diagram, we are having four actors, hotel guest, receptionist, chef and housekeeping. These are the four actors and we are having the use cases, search availability, book the room, cancel the reservation, check in, check out, menu preparation, food serving and room cleaning. These are the use cases for the system. We can add as per our requirement to develop this diagram. Now we will open the rational rows. Okay, to develop the diagram, uh, we are going to develop only use case diagram only. So cancel this one. After that, go to the use case view right click on this one go to new select use case diagram okay. right here hotel management system double click on this icon or our file which we are going to develop if you will see we are having use case diagram under the use case view and hotel management system is our diagram or our model Tools related, we have maximized this one. You can minimize this one also. To develop the diagram, we are maximizing this. These tools are related to the use case diagram. We are having the selection. This is for the text box. This is for the annotation. If you want to give some message, this is for the anchoring. If you want to tag some notation to the some use case or some actor. Package, we are not going to add any package at this time. This is use case this is actor this is unidirectional association this is dependency and this one is generalization or we are calling it inheritance in object oriented programming now we are going to develop the diagram we are having four actors hotel guest receptionist chef and housekeeping click on this one this is hotel guest or simply guest or customer next receptionist third one is chef in our use case diagram and the fourth one is housekeeping We can add actors and use cases as per our requirement. Now we are having the use cases search availability, book room, cancel reservation. Search availability. You can write here search room also. Next one, book room. Third one, cancel reservation or cancel room. Right here, reservation is best suited next check in check out the next use case diagram just click on the two on that icons and drag to the window and click on the window diagram window this window is called as diagram window check out arrange this, these use cases ok next use case is food serving and menu preparation
good serving menu preparation last one is room cleaning Now we will go for the association. This is unidirectional association. This one is dependency. If something is depend upon the someone, we will, we will use this that uh, this arrow. If something is generalization, we will use this arrow. In our use case diagram, we are not generalizing anything. Even though we can generalize receptionist, chef, and housekeeping from the uh, person employee or the class imply we can generalize these three that uh, we can make one actor here imply we can generalize receptionist chef and housekeeping as per our requirement now make the association click on the unidirectional association click on hotel guest search availability next book the room next cancel reservation next check in check out okay. the receptionist is associated with book room cancel reservation check in and check out Cancel reservation is depend upon the book room. This use case, existence of this use case, cancel reservation is totally depend upon the book room. That is to cancel the reservation, book room use case must be present. So this is the dependency. We will click on the book room to the cancel reservation. Okay. This is dependency from book room to the cancel reservation. Now we need to write the dependency name stereotype is include so for this one click on the dependency arrow click on the arrow don't select the use case go to specification select the stereotype include okay. include meaning is that this is compulsory that base class for the dependent because this is depending upon the base class So cancel reservation will exist only if book room is there. This is dependency. Next hotel guest can apply for the food serving. And hotel guest can request for the room cleaning the chef is responsible for the food serving and chef is responsible for the menu preparation and housekeeping is responsible for the room cleaning now food serving and menu preparation menu preparation is depend upon the food serving that is what the guest or customer has requested for the food the chef will prepare the menu that food so this is also include dependency go to the specification select the stereotype include apply okay, okay. this is menu preparation what the order given by the customer that is hotel guest chef will prepare and menu preparation is only possible if customer has given some order food serving okay you can change the name here also 
food request or food survey. So this diagram is ready. Now you want to write the text. Write the text here. Hotel management system. diagram is ready for the hotel management system we are having four actors here hotel guest receptionist chef and housekeeping these are the use case diagram we are using the dependency include include is uh, that base class which is we are including is totally depend upon the first one from where we are including parent class parent use case so this diagram is ready thank you for uh, watching the video please subscribe the video for more videos